Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And today we're going to be reacting to, I think this is a short between season one and two. Season two, episode zero. Um, you guys told us about this. We didn't know this existed. And we thought it'd be fun to react along and you guys might enjoy watching this too. And I believe this short is about the events that happened to Butcher in particular. It's about five minutes between season one and two, which we we're really curious about. Yeah. First episode, we were like, wait, are they going to tell us? And you guys sort of said they don't really tell you too much moving forward. So this is pretty important to watch. And I'm looking forward to it because we're both really intrigued to see what the hell happened between the point where Butcher realized Becca was alive and had a homeland as a child and what we see in episode one of season two when he just comes back in towards the end with the yeah. crew again. Because that was like the big build-up of season one and then we got no answers. It was just like, what actually happened? Because that would have been like a really cool interaction. I just still hope that we do get some interaction between Butcher and Becca and really specifically addressing the last seven years or eight years or whatever it's been. But, yeah. As in, in this short or long term? I mean, if this short addresses it, fantastic. But long I term, feel like yeah. it won't. So, yeah, long term. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. I don't know yeah. if the short will go that deep. But I, I feel like, yeah, they'll, they'll touch on their relationship long term now that we know she's alive and the characters are, are there. If you guys enjoy our reaction to this short, remember to give the video a like. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought. And hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our boys' reactions. Okay, let's go. Damn, he's like full processing everything. Okay. Where's he waking up? Cause didn't he wake up in her backyard? Yeah. Maybe this is after. Poor oh, butcher. <laughs> butcher. Have initiated a multi yellow ranch house. Oh, Vice President Madeline Stillwell, as well as endangering Damn. her infant son, as if he didn't have anything else to worry about. And are urging anyone within okay. So, have you realized where we are? He's running down the details. So obviously, it's after he's seen the house, yeah. Then mm. her man just thrown him somewhere else, knocked him out, take him somewhere else. And he's trying to remember, so he doesn't actually feel like had the chance to maybe talk to him properly, as far as we know. Yeah, potentially. Poor guy, always on the run. <laughs> and all because of Becca. I love how he just hotwire a car. He's got all the skills needed. I know. Is that like his dad? Looks like his brother. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's a good mate, I don't know. Remember that trance slayer? Funny little lad, one eye. I remember the air she used to score. Got you so off your tits, you ran through El Basra, naked as a jaybird. <laughs> nah, no, mate. That was you. Oh, for Christ, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, I, uh, I burn off it for donkeys. Go on, then. That's an order, bootnake. There's even, like, pain behind this drink. Oh, yeah. What sort of extraordinarily deep shit are you in that you come shuffling up to my door in the middle of the night? Thought maybe you could help me find her, your wife. Someone married you? <laughs> Get some feelers out, you know? Get some of the old intel boys. Higgins, a square up. All respect, yeah? Doesn't seem to me like your girl wants to be found. Are you gonna fucking help me or not? Of course I am. We're mates, aren't we? Good mates, hey? I love the way they talk to each other. Mm. I wonder why he didn't use them beforehand then. Probably because he thought she was dead, I guess. Yeah, desperate times, I guess. Cheers. Ordering pizza, are we? Take it easy, mate. Plotters are on their way. You shouldn't have done that, Jock. You topped that Stillwell woman on the telly. You're gonna top your wife as well. Shit. I didn't kill no one. Come on, Billy. 
I've seen what you can do. Like that ragged, a squirt gun. Now you're a killer down on the ground. That don't change. Damn, man. Didn't expect that turn of events so quickly. The poor guy can't trust anyone. Oh. He won't kill him. He'll see. Wait, did he actually do it? Fuck, dude. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but holy shit. Oh, Billy. I guess he realized once he knew he wasn't going to let go. Yeah. Frenchie, my man. <laughs> oh, this is when he calls him after all that, okay. Wow. Damn. Okay, so that didn't give us a hell of a lot. Hmm. I thought it was going to be more based around his interaction with Becca or something, or the, what happened at the house, but I guess we may never know, or we'll find it out in dialogue probably. Yeah, hopefully in the future, like in season two or three, we get at least glimpses so we can kind of piece it together, that little puzzle, I guess. But, yeah, this is more just where he's been... You know, since we were reintroduced to the boys in season two. A lot of people did mention in episode one of season two, I had think I made a comment in episode eight, the finale of season one, that maybe they'll be mates because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And everyone yeah. was like, yeah, don't don't expect <laughs> that. I was like, okay. So, and more that it was probably a Homelander tormenting him thing. And now watching that, how he Homelander showed him, but then... Seemingly dropped him off without giving him any information on the yeah. location. It is a bit of a power grab. Like, I know where they are. You don't kind of thing. But I'm taunting you with what I know. Yeah. So we see that. But I didn't expect Butcher to kill his mate just like that. Like, damn. Me neither, but... <sighs> it shows the circumstances he's in, you know. Yeah, it does. I think the circumstances, but also just the way he deals with things now as well. Like, I don't know. Maybe you couldn't have convinced his friend. Like. Yeah, I feel like... Look, it's hard to add logic to these situations because they're yeah. extreme and you react in the moment. But I feel like if it was, from what I saw in season one anyway, like Frenchie, Frenchie, Mother's Milk, and even Huey, to be fair, they never fully put Butcher at risk solely, but he also didn't look like he wanted to kill them. Yeah. It was just, whereas with this guy, maybe he just knew there was the, like it was what had to be done because obviously he had a lot of resources and stuff. And yeah. I'm not sure. Anyway. Damn, but... My man Butcher lost, completely lost. Like, so obviously, when he when he came back in episode one, we thought, well, I was hoping that maybe he did have an interaction with Becca, but it was clearly like a positive, not. We thought it was, might, might have been like a positive conclusion because it looked to be in yeah. good spirits. So, okay, yeah. He resolved it. But obviously, that's classic Butcher hiding his pain, mm. putting on a, a brave face, but really, he doesn't seem like he's resolved much at all. Mm. Well, I'm excited for episode two now. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good to watch. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this little short. Hit that like button if you did, and we'll see you guys on another episode of Boys. Until then, take care of yourselves. See you guys.